Welcome to the CORF tutorial. Today, we will create and run a hydraulic circuit. First, open CORF by double-clicking on the desktop icon. Then, click OK on the splash screen. The main CORF window will open up, consisting of a menu bar, toolbar, status bar, equipment palette, and drawing area. To create a simple hydraulic circuit consisting of two pipes and a control valve, click on the feed image on the palette. Move the mouse to the location on the drawing area where you want the feed to be positioned, and click again. Next, click on the product image on the palette. Move the mouse to the location on the drawing area you want to position the product, and click again. Repeat for the control valve. To create and connect two pieces of equipment, click the pipe image on the palette. Move the mouse just next to the small, horizontal line on the feed. The mouse cursor must change to an up arrow. Once the mouse cursor is an up arrow, click the mouse again. The pipe is now connected to the feed. Move the mouse next to the small, vertical line on the control valve inlet. Click the mouse button once the cursor changes to an up arrow. While flow in pipes and equipment can be in any direction, from a drawing point of view, pipes can only start at an equipment outlet and end at an equipment inlet. Equipment inlets have a small vertical line. Repeat for the second pipe between the control valve and product. To drag a piece of equipment, move the mouse over the equipment. When the cursor changes to an arrow, hold down the left mouse button and move the equipment to the new location. Release the mouse button. To move and disconnect a pipe bend or end, move the mouse cursor to the bend or end. When the mouse cursor changes to an arrow with a cross, hold down the left mouse button and move the pipe end or bend to the new location. Release the mouse button. Click on the Spec Toolbar button to view the current specifications on the drawing. In this case, they are the feed and product pressures and control valve CV. Thus, the flow rate and control valve pressure will be calculated. Click on the orange arrow with the pipe on the toolbar to perform the hydraulic calculations. The simulation will run and a run log will display for any messages. Click on the results toolbar button to display the results on the drawing. Alternatively, the results can also be viewed by clicking on the report with the pipe on the toolbar or by double clicking on any equipment to view the dialog. Congratulations, you have just completed your first CORF simulation.